Hey there, this is Guy Ferdman of Satori Prime, and I'm gonna take you through a meditation. So wherever you are right now, if you can just find yourself a comfortable chair to sit in, or if you prefer, you could sit cross-legged. Um, ideally, you're not in your bed. Your body does associate sleep, obviously, with your bed. So I'd like for you to be as aware as possible while also being relaxed. So now that you're in a comfortable seated position, I'm going to take you through a body scan meditation today. And the intention is to help you to start to metabolize energy that's stuck in the body. Our system, uh, our body is a metabolic machine. And when the energy in our body doesn't move, it stagnates. This creates stress, anxiety, and overwhelm in our system and a lack of ease or dis-ease or disease, um, however you'd like to look at it. And it is the sensation in the body that the mind is often concerned with and is often trying to create safety around so as we learn to metabolize energy within our system, the concerns that the mind has, the safety protocols, the automated patterns and systems that it uses naturally dissipate as the energy that's stuck in the system metabolizes. And that's what we're going to focus on with this particular meditation. So please close your eyes. And as you do that, I'm going to ask you to put your awareness on your left hand. Just putting your awareness on your left hand. This is different than looking at your left hand. Just putting your awareness on your left hand. And as you do that in the next few seconds, I just want you to notice, I'll sit here quietly, what you notice about your left hand. Generally speaking, people will describe it as a vibration or some kind of um, warmth, perhaps, or feeling energy. Um, I like to just call it uh, an increased felt of sensation. And this increased felt of sensation, notice how quickly that was, putting your awareness on your hand, is your ability to recognize the subtle energy body uh, that's part of you. So most people are not aware of the way that the body works, but we have a uh, gross sensations that we can feel like when someone bops you over the head or you hit your head and your head hurts and suddenly you notice that you have a head. Then we have what's called a subtle body energy. That's what we're going to be working with. There's also a super subtle body energy or causal energy. And then there's the um, non-dual energy, which people experience when they're in high, higher states of meditation or when they do psychedelics and they, uh, have that experience of being one with everything that's a, a non-dual place to be so we're going to be working with subtle body energy and i'm going to ask you to uh just put your awareness in different places but to begin let's just take a nice deep breath one more in and out And then noticing a lot of times when we take deep breaths in that it is relegated to just the upper chest area. So if you notice that the air just went into your chest, this time I ask when you take the next few breaths to actually release the stomach muscles. We hold a lot of tension there and to bring the air all the way down deep, deep, deep into the belly, all the way down towards that root chakra. So nice deep breath, big belly breath. Two more. So we're going to begin a meditation by putting your awareness at the top of your head. Let's just go ahead and put the awareness at the top of your head.
And I want you to notice if there's any effort at all, whether now or at any part of this meditation, and if there's any kind of efforting at all on your part to try to make something happen, then just please let go of that effort. So just putting the attention at the top of the head. Continuing to breathe. So our awareness at the top of the head and our attention's also on the breath. We can easily put simultaneous awareness. And wherever I ask you to put your attention right now, just allow for that part of you to relax. So starting with the top of the head, allowing for the top of the head to relax. And then moving down to the forehead, again, allowing it to relax to the eyelids and the eyeballs, allowing them to relax to the cheeks, the mouth, the jaw, the ears, and the back of the head, just allowing it to relax. Then moving down to your neck, the front of the neck and the back of the neck. The left shoulder and the right shoulder. The biceps and the arms. Triceps and the lower arms. Your wrists your hands, relaxing the upper back, the mid back, and the lower back. The chest, the stomach, and now moving down to our hips. our butt, even relaxing our genitalia, relaxing our hips and thighs, relaxing the knees, the calves, the ankles, the feet, and finally the toes. And then taking two more deep breaths down to the belly, in, and out. This time breathing in and holding it in for two seconds. And out. As you listen to my voice, we're going to be working with the center channel of our body. So you're going to continue to breathe as I give you more instruction here. And the center channel of our body, what I mean by that is really the area from the top of the head all the way down to the base of the spine, sometimes known as the chakra systems and stuff like this. But for our purposes, we're going to be focusing our attention mostly on the stomach area, on the heart area, and the head. And I want to remind you that these organs, these areas are not two-dimensional objects. They are three-dimensional. They have sides, a left and a right, a back and a front, an inside and an outside. Same with your heart, same with your head. And I'm going to have you just do a slow scan starting with the base of the spine, the root chakra, and moving your way up. And whatever's alive and present for you in your life right now, whether it's concern, elation, sadness, despair, agony, joy, whatever's alive and present for you right now, it's always in the swirl, always in our energy field. And I'm going to have you scan through the stomach again, the front, the back, the left, the right, the inside, the outside, 
And what I'm going to have you do is just identify where you can find the most sensation in your body. If you're having trouble finding anything in your stomach, then please move up to your heart. And again, just scan around the heart, left, right, center, back, inside, outside. And then same thing if you're having trouble finding any sensation there, moving up to the head. However, most people are going to find something within their stomach or their heart. So wherever it is that you're identifying the most sensation right now in your body, I'm going to ask you to just put your awareness directly on that area. And notice how pinpoint accurate you can get. It could be a very small or a very big area deep within you or right on the outside of the rim. And again, I'm just going to have you put your awareness and attention on that. And there's nothing else that you need to do, nothing that you need to make happen or anything like that. Just a matter of putting your attention on there. So just hang out with that for just a moment and continue to take breaths. And if you find that there's any thoughts or anything like that that's coming up for you right now, whatever those thoughts and you don't need to defend yourself from them, see if you can name the thought or what's the primary concern behind the thought and you're happy to invite that thought in and actually hang out. Anytime that we're doing work with the energy body in the system, naturally the systems that arise to protect us are going to be there. So these protectors are there and we have lots of different names for them, but for right now all you need to know is that whatever is aware and whatever you can sense in your awareness, you don't have to do anything, manage it or change it in any way, you get to invite that in. So if you're having any thoughts right now, most likely it's a protector watching the system. So we're going to invite that protector in here and we're going to actually honor how hard it works on your behalf. And then again, reminding you to let go of any effort that you might be efforting right now. So continuing to keep your awareness on that sensation in your body and allowing for whatever arises in this experience to just be there without any need to change it at all. And as you keep your awareness on that sensation, I'm going to have you notice that you are sitting on something, whether it's a chair or the floor or even your bed. And just noticing that your body weight is being supported by this object. You are energetically being supported is actually holding up your weight. So just notice the support while keeping your attention on that sensation in your body. If the sensation is moving in any way, growing, heating up, anything like that, again, just observing, noticing, passively observing what's happening in the system. No need to change anything. Trusting that the body has an intelligence and is divinely guided and knows exactly how to metabolize energy without any feedback from us. We're here just to watch, just to observe. As you continue to keep your awareness on that sensation inside your body, also please use your awareness or if it's helpful to you, you don't have to. You can also open up your eyes. So you can either scan the room or open your eyes and look around or both. And I want you to scan the room and I want you to make sure and check in to see if you feel safe. Now you're not forcing your system to feel safe. I'm just asking you to check to see if you feel safe. And if you don't, that's perfectly okay. You might be in a room with someone 
or in a room that you just generally don't feel safe in. And what we're just doing is, again, we're checking in with our system with whether we feel safe. So scan the room or look around and see if you feel safe. And please don't lie to yourself. If you don't feel safe, you don't feel safe. And that's perfectly okay. That does not take it away from this exercise or meditation one bit. You're doing perfectly great. If you have any prevailing thoughts, if you feel like energy is moving up towards your head, it's getting a little foggy up there, you can just soften your eyes, relax your jaw, and remind yourself again to bring the awareness that's up there back down towards where the sensation that you found is in your body. And again, noticing if the sensations changed or moved in any way, and just moving your awareness right along with it. No efforting on your part whatsoever, again, just passively observing the system and your energy. And then finally, as the orator of this meditation, I want you to notice that there's a connection between me and you. Even though we're not in the same room, even though that you're not listening to me make this meditation live, you are listening to recording, there's an energy frequency to me, to my voice, to time and space. And I just want you to connect to me, to the energy. And notice that there is a connection there. And you can even check if that connection makes you feel safe. You can check me out and see if I feel safe. And again, not lying to yourself and your system. If for any reason you do not feel safe, that's perfectly okay. And you're doing the exercise perfectly well but just checking if you feel safe with me and then continuing to notice the connection between me and you while simultaneously putting awareness on the sensation in your body so about 50% of awareness on the connection 50% of the awareness on the sensation in the body and again letting go of any effort whatsoever just being with sensation. You're doing great. Now, generally speaking, when we do this exercise with our private clients, we actually track their energy body in real time. But obviously, since I'm not there with you, then I'm not capable of doing that because I don't know when you're going to be listening to this recording and I can't tune into your energy frequency. So it is your responsibility to continue to tune into your own energy body. Now, you might find that the mind wants to rush through this exercise but I assure you that's just thoughts having thoughts and you get to notice those and allow for them to be there. The body is a very patient machine. It takes its time and it knows exactly what it's doing just like it knows how to mend a cut. It doesn't need any feedback and it will patiently mend that cut in its own time. So the energy in your body works a lot the same way and as we continue to notice the connection and notice the sensation in the body in some amount of time, whether that's short, long, or medium, the energy will naturally begin to metabolize and move through your system. What I invite you to do is to sit here and patiently allow for that to happen in its own time without any effort on your part. That might be an investment of a few minutes. That may be an investment of a half an hour. You really get to choose and tune in. Now don't worry because you can always come back 
to this part that you're working with if you don't feel like you have enough time to work with it now. And if this is your first time doing this meditation, then obviously you wouldn't have known that. But if you come back to this meditation later on to get this instruction, I would give yourself ample time, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes, whatever you feel is necessary to give your body an opportunity to metabolize things in its own time. Otherwise, you might find that the mind is going to want to rush things along. So again, noticing the connection between us, noticing the sensation. And noticing that I'm still here hanging out with you. I haven't left. Happy to be here with you. Happy to support you through this process. And you're just noticing if there's any changes to the way the energy feels in your body, to the way the sensation feels in your body. There's nothing here that you need to understand or do. No linear process, no formula, just being. Learning how to just be. Being worthy doesn't come from doing, it comes from being. Love doesn't come from doing, it comes from being. We're human beings, we're not human doings. So we're just being, we're learning how to be. And if you're frustrated during this process, then I invite you to invite the frustration in. If you're feeling angry during this process, then I invite you to bring the frustration and anger in. If you're sad during this process, then I invite you to bring the sadness in and just allow for it to be there. You don't have to amplify it. You don't have to diminish it. You just get to let it be there. We're taking off the focus of doing this work to make ourselves feel better. And instead, I'm inviting you to just learn how to feel, how to feel more. The more you can feel through life, the more peaceful you'll find yourself being, the more you'll be able to metabolize energy as it moves through your body in real time. This naturally decays the process of stress, anxiety, and overwhelm because the energy actually moves through the body. It doesn't get stagnated and held in the body, which just creates more action for the protectors to take. So noticing the connection, noticing the sensation, Noticing if we feel safe. Noticing the support. And just being with our system. As you go through this process, what you're going to find is that the energy gradually will start moving downwards. For some of you guys, this has already happened. For some of you guys, you just get to be patient. The energy is going to move down through your legs into your hips. And then into your thighs. Into your knees and calves. And down into your feet. And if that hasn't happened yet, please have no worry. You're doing the exercise perfectly well. And your body's gonna allow for that to happen in its own perfect timing. As you learn to do this exercise on your own, you're free to sit here for as long as you feel is sufficient for you and for your energetic, energetic body system. To begin completing this meditation, I want to invite you to do the following. I want you to picture that there is a green emerald underneath you. It's in the earth. And that this green emerald is shooting energy up towards you, right towards that root chakra system. 
and this green energy is filled with resources and energy. It is literally the mother energy, the mother earth energy. And it's moving up, it's hitting your root chakra. And then your sacral. And then up to your solar plexus and up through the heart. Through the throat. And through the third eye. And then it shoots up through your crown as your crown opens. And it's a rich energy. Rich, rich, rich with resources for you. And then from up above you, is a pillar of white golden light. And it comes shooting down through that crown, meeting that green energy and moving down through your third eye, down through the throat chakra, through the heart and the solar plexus, and down into your sacral and into that root, which is right at the base of your spine, about an inch below. And this is a wise energy. It brings wisdom and connection to that which is seen and also that which is unseen. And if you start feeling from the center of your body out, everything in the universe has a membrane. Just like cells have a membrane. We have an energetic membrane. So see if you can get a felt sense of that membrane. You can communicate with it if you need to. This is yours like an orb of energy that protects you. And I'm going to ask you to claim this space. Claim it and fill it up with your energy. So from your center out, just claiming that space, claiming that energy, effortlessly allowing for that to happen. And just noticing any impact this has on you, your body, your mood, state of relaxation, your energy. Maybe it's making you tired, maybe it's making you energized. And then lastly, outside of that system, we're all sitting in a Merkaba. If you don't know what a Merkaba is, a Merkaba is a double tetrahedron in scientific terminology. And what that means is basically two pyramids, one right side up and one upside down, intersecting, it looks like the Star of David. So a three-dimensional Star of David. This is the shape of our energy fields. It's actually the shape of all the subatomic particles in the universe. And again, with your awareness, just looking up, and as you see the point of that pyramid of that Merkaba, it's spinning in a direction. It's either spinning left or it's spinning right. And just notice that it's spinning and allow for it to spin in whatever direction that it's spinning in. And you're just noticing, observing that it's spinning, energizing you, protecting you, resourcing you. And then looking down below and finding that other top point of the pyramid and it's spinning too and it's spinning in the opposite direction of the direction that the one's spinning above you so allowing for that to spin and just helping you resource helping you fill that space up with your energy and 
And from here, again, taking a deep breath down to that belly. Noticing any shifts in our body and our energy system. And then lastly, if there's anything out there from the last few days, last few weeks, months, even years, even lifetimes, of uh, pieces of you that have been fragmented off. Again, without effort, with just awareness, allowing awareness to just locate those pieces wherever they are in the universe and the multidimensionality and ener different energy systems, wherever they are. And I want you to imagine that from your core, all these wires go shooting out in different directions and at the end of the wire is a hook and they effortlessly seek out these fragmented pieces and they easily adapt to hook into them and right after they hook into them all these wires start moving back towards your system into your core and actually pulling all these pieces back into you allowing for further integration of wholeness as these parts and pieces come back in. At some point in time, it may have been unsafe to have that part with you, but that time has now passed. And now it's perfectly safe for you to reintegrate that part into your whole. So allowing for that integration to effortlessly happen. I'm taking a deep breath into the belly as that does. Just bowing our head in gratitude for taking this time and investing this space in resourcing yourself and bringing yourself into greater alignment, into nurturing yourself and defining your core, into learning how to operate and take action from an aligned place every single day of our lives so that the things that we're attracting to ourselves happen with ease and grace, with effortlessness, without much effort on our part. They come to us because they're in alignment with us. They're attracted to us magnetically and effortlessly. So bowing in gratitude for this warmth, this relaxation, this connection, and noticing the ease. And in your own time, at your own pace, whenever you feel complete, bringing the awareness back into the room that you're in, blinking your eyes open slowly, taking it nice and easy, making sure we drink a lot of water after this exercise, getting proper rest when we need it, and listening to our body and what it needs. I hope you enjoy this meditation. Thank you for investing this time with me. Again, my name is Guy Ferdman of Satori Prime. Have a wonderful day.